Select the rule with input output tables. What is the rule for this input output table? I love doing input output tables because it's kind of like a mystery and we have to solve and figure out what the rule is. So in an input output table, we look at going from the input to the output. So what is happening, and it has to be the same, across that is making a two turn into a two, a three turn into a three, and a four turn into a four. So if we have two, we're dividing by one to get two. If we have three and we divide by one, we get three. And if we have four and divide by one, we get four. So our rule is to divide by one. What is the rule for this input output table? So remember that we're going across from zero to zero, from three to one, and from six to two. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm dividing by to get across. Well, let's see, if I have three, I go to one, or six to two, you might know one of these more than the other. Well, if I have six going to two, I know that if I count by twos, there's two, four, six. So there's one, two, three times I added two. So then I would be dividing by three. Well, let's double check and see if that works. If I have three and I divide by three, does that equal one? Yeah, that's right. Oh, well this one says zero divided by three equals zero. Is that true? It is zero divided by any number, zero divided by one, zero divided by two, zero divided by three, zero divided by a hundred is always going to give us zero. So our rule for this input output table is divide by three. What is the rule for this input output table? So remember we're going from the input to our output. We need to find the pattern. What is the pattern between these? Well, if I'm going from one to one, two to two, and four to four, my numbers aren't changing. And the only number I can divide by to make my numbers not change is to divide by one. So is one divided by one equal to one? Yes. Is two divided by one equal to two? Yes. Is four divided by one equal to four? Yes. So divide by one is the rule. Again, our numbers aren't changing here. So I'm looking at this and I remembered from our last problem that when the numbers don't change from one to one or two to two or three to three, well then we're dividing by one. And so this is just like the last rule, we divide by one. Oh, look at here, I see the same thing. I'm looking at a three in my input and it's going to a three to my output, a six from my input, six to my output, nine from my input, and nine from my output. So in this case, I am dividing by one again. We are getting very lucky with these problems today. If I look here, I have zero, and I'm going to zero, two to two, and three to three. So something is going to give me two to two, three to three. Well, remember we said it's divide by one. If I have three, I divide it by one, I still have three. Two divided by one, I still have two. And remember that zero divided by any number is going to give us zero, so divide by one. All right, these ones are a little bit different, so we're gonna have to use our brains a little bit. We're going from two to one, four to two, and eight to four, wow. So we need to figure out what we're dividing by to get these numbers. Well, if I have two, what do I divide by to get one? Well, two divided by one is two, so it's not divide by one. Two divided by two, 
Well, two divided by two is one, so let's double check that. Let's see if that's the same rule for each one. Two divided by two is one. Well, if I have four divided by two, well, four divided by two, that's two, because two, two four, that's two twos, and then eight divided by two, or eight divided in half is four. So we're gonna divide by two for this one. Now, if we're looking here, what is the rule for the input output table? When we look at these numbers, I'm looking, I see one and one, two and two, five to five. Well, if we know how to divide by one, we know that anytime you divide a number by one, you get itself. So let's close that scratch pad and hit divide by one. So what is the rule for this input output table? It's gonna be the same thing. Zero divided by one, one divided by one equals one, and three divided by one equals three. So we're going to divide by one. This time the numbers are a little bit different. So we're going from zero to zero. Well, that could be any number, right? Because zero divided by anything equals one. So it could be zero divided by one, zero divided by two, zero divided by three, zero divided by 50. Either, either way, we're gonna get zero. So we need to pay more attention to these other two sets of numbers. So to go from three to one and six to two, what do we need to divide by? Well, three divided by something equals one well, three divided by three equals one. Let's see if that's right for six. Six divided by three equals two. Well, that's right, so zero divided by three also equals zero, so divided by three. Great job selecting the rule for our input output tables today.